until 1948. Then, after six or seven months, everyone was cured. But neither the state nor the locals, who were making the income out of the island, wanted the lepers to leave, or for Spinalonga's leprosarium to be closed down. Still ostracized by both state and society, the lepers were held here until 1957, 16 years after the cure had been invented. It was the last leper colony to close in Europe and was then forbidden, out of bounds to the public. For two years, Remadakis worked with Bourne, revealing the truth behind the island's mask. But when Maurice returned to the island in the 1980s, he was surprised to find people had already been there. Someone was trying to erase the evidence. I can tell you that when I was here on the island, all of the archived records were here. They were all scattered on the pharmacy's floor. Unfortunately, I did not steal any of them, because now everything is lost. All of them. No trace of the records exists anymore. Everything was burned in the 1980s. But this cleanup operation went way beyond simply burning files. And so it happened. Everything that was specially built from the 1930s to the 1940s was destroyed, and the records I'm telling you about were burned. So today there are not many things left. Bourne believes it was part of a larger cover up. But the state. What's going on, boys? What's going on? Leo. Sebastian. Leo. Sebastian. of the leper colony's evidence having been erased, its legacy lives on, in no small part thanks to Remondakis. He died in Ajia Vavara Leprosarium. What's wrong, Leonardo?